Hello everyone, this is Andrew McNair from Swan Capital with our special edition of our Swan Report. After weeks of building tension, Russia has launched an offensive operation into Ukraine. And Russian President Vladimir Putin set the stage by announcing the independence of two rebel-held areas in Ukraine, then declared that he would defend their independence against Ukrainian aggression. Now, this declaration was merely a pretext for Russia's wider foray into Ukraine. And sadly, dozens of Ukrainians have been killed so far. And Putin's ultimate goal appears to be to take the entire country. So what's going on and why does it matter economically? Well, the first reason is Russia is a major producer of oil and natural gas, and the geopolitical conflict has sent prices of both of these sharply higher in recent weeks. Also, Ukraine and Russia are also big exporters of precious as well as industrial materials, such as all the metals that we use in those industries, as well as grain. But a military blockade could risk significant shipments from the Black Sea ports, and this will make the supply of raw materials even more scarce than they already are, which is a problem we've dealt with with COVID-19 supply chain logistics. But now that the war is official, many countries are taking a stance on this issue. The U.S. is currently restricting trade and Western allies are prepared to impose punishing sanctions against Moscow for a stunning full-scale invasion that is underway. And global leaders have been warning us about this for weeks. So the big question now is where and when will the Russia incursion stop? Will they take all of Ukraine, part of it? Will they go further and expand the conflict into neighboring Baltic republics? This will least likely event, but most dangerous scenario since the Baltic Republic and Poland are NATO members and we would be obligated to come to their aid. So what can we expect? Well, for now, the Western reaction to the unfolding situation in Ukraine will likely be limited to economic sanctions. And U.S. as well as European diplomats have been working for weeks on a coordinated package that they'll probably have to start rolling out as we speak. Now, what cannot happen is making sure that we don't sanction Russia on its European exports of energy to not only the EU, but around the world, because Russia accounts for 10% of the world's oil exports and any disruptions will impact the price. I mean, even the threat of disruption has already had an effect and the invasion has already pushed the price of oil to $100 a barrel. So the United States luckily imports relatively very little directly from Russia. But a few commodities um, have already started to cause a crunch with, again, supply logistics. And we will see temporarily higher prices on these raw materials and finished goods. And again, we don't need more of that because we're already experiencing too much inflation as it is. So what should you and I do as an investors? Well, we're encouraging our clients to view the volatility in this market as an opportunity to invest in equities as well as put the cash that they've had on the sidelines to work. Also, this is a great time to take another look at your TSP, 401k, and 403b allocations because it might be a great opportunity for you to reallocate. So if you want to discuss your 401k allocations, please send us a statement with your current 401k options and all possible options that are available to you. And we'll be happy to chat with you about your investment objectives. Now at Swan Capital with our clients, our strategy is to move to existing cash to, into the market and reposition our clients' portfolios into heavier stock positions. Lastly, we're gonna be keeping a close eye on this situation because I do think it's gonna present more volatility and more additional opportunities. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 850-380-9558. That's 850-380-9558. Or email us at portfolio at swan-capital.com. That's portfolio at swan-capital.com. See you next time.